So up until now, we've been dealing with how we can sort of theoretically think about MQ and what are potential ways to, again, theoretically administer the system. But what we haven't really done is to look at how you actually do the administration. And in fact, there are three, let's just call this MQ administration slash interfaces, because these are actually different interfaces that you can use to interact with the system. And, and essentially, there are basically four of them. And the first one is what's called MQSC, which stands for WebSphere MQ Scripting, which is S, commands, script commands. And this is essentially a textual based, and we're going to see all of these. This is essentially a textual or text based input commands. So you're, you're literally, literally going to type in commands into MQSC. Now, there is, of course, a graphical way to do that. And we've actually seen this to some degree with the MQ Explorer. And of course, that's obviously quite uh, popular. But it, it alone, and, and really the MQSC alone, can't do everything. And that's why there is more than one way to administer the system. So there's a third system, a third way to interact with the system, with MQ, and that's called PCF, which stands for Programmable Command Format. And the way this works is that you essentially have, um, is kind of an internal system for that MQ uses to send around and kind of in messages and, and essentially and you can use it to to administer the system this is not something that we're actually going to look at or spend much time on but you need to know that it's there because it's an important one and then uh, lastly you have uh, a, a separate sort of uh, way to administer the system through what's called an uh, a control command and we're going to look at as I said all of these uh, in detail but these are the main four and if you'd like additional information about all of these, you can turn to the primer on page 31, where you'll see these. It says here there are two primary ways, but in, in fact, even the primer mentions a third one. And uh, you'll see, right, you've got the MQSC, you've got the PCF, the Programmable Command Format, and then you've got MQ Explorer. But in fact, if you go to the MQ8 reference, so uh, that looks like this, version 8 of MQ, you will see that, in fact, there are more than you know, just those three. You have PCF commands, you have these MQSC commands, and you have these control commands we talked about, and then there's the MQ Explorer equivalent. And notice that the MQ Explorer cannot do everything. In fact, I highlighted these two things that it can't do, and really neither can the control commands. It can't do, there's no equivalent for Alter Key Manager. And then the MQSC can do it, and you know, this Change uh, Queue Manager can do it as well. So you get the idea. You can't do everything with just one interface, and that's why, in fact, there are more than uh, one way to, to do a lot of these things.